The Drake Views controversy widened this week. Why? With attacks aimed at Drake. I use my outfit as, as intro man. No. From Mr. I Vegas. Vegas is calling Drake a fake. The Drake, you know, saying a real thing. Who is sampling dancehall and not crediting its creators. Mr. Vegas will be here to defend his position. So I'm letting you know that Drake the fake did not do us a favor. And he will also be part of a panel to include veteran sound system selector Firelinks and DJ Y Rush, who is a big supporter of Popcorn and Drake. The Drake Popcorn Mr. Vegas controversy up front and center on our stage this week, along with a number of other major topics in dancehall. All coming up. Welcome to the show, everyone. I am Winford Williams. We'll be back. Love how you unruly. I think I lie for you. Thinking I die for you. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage. So much more than entertainment. Welcome back. His career as a sound system selector dates back to the formative years of dancehall as a genre. The turn of the 1980s, a time when the music was rapidly becoming the pop music genre of the nation and the sound system, its designer. Three decades later, and our guest in this segment is being hailed a legend in the sound system arena, characterized by his stagecraft. Distinctive voice and slangs, slangs that make him now classify himself as the billboard selector. Fresh from his convincing win against Tony Mataron at the Boom All Star Sound Clash just last week. Firelix, right now, right here on our stage. Fire. Blessings. Blessed love, sir. Good to have you. Congrats yeah, on that big win. Yeah, man. Yes, definitely. It's an overwhelming feeling, you know. It's Same. a good look. Good, good look. Well What's the history of clashes between you and Matara? Yo, it's been a while now. Way, way, way. We've well, been clashing for three, loaded, yes. forever. <laughs> How many wins do you have against him? Who, who has the most wins? Well, who have the most wins? Well, the calculation there. That'll take a while for you, You don't really know if... <laughs> If you the lead now or him. I'm your lead, man. Are you a lead? Yeah, man. Hardball. Is sound clash? Is it declining? No, I wouldn't say that. It more on the up to me now. If like three, four years ago, then a statement like that would have definitely relevant. But no, no. I, I don't think it on the decline. None at all. It's up it, it's more on the rising right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah man, upscale thing. Man. All right, well. You know, like that's good for all the um, <laughs> the Clash DJs like yourself. Because yeah. for a while, one gets the impression that it was uh, on the decline and enough supporters weren't coming out anymore for Clashes. Because the, 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 same, the same lineup repeatedly over and over. Mm -hmm. You know, after a while, the patrons will get bored of that. Okay. You understand? So when you have different, different lineup, you know, and then certain lineup in demand more than some. So when the people them can see the lineup, what them really want to see, mm. definitely, you will get a good turnout. Okay, so talk about this Billboard classification. Ah. <laughs> the Billboard ah, selector man. classification for me. How did that come about? Turn it up. Well, the, uh, uh, my voice is in a Kanye West um, song, mm -hmm. saying turn it up, and the song well Billboard. So the other DJ, um, the other selector. Yeah. <laughs> what? So you? How you? How is is a resolve important? Is there? Can there be a resolve? A well, decision? you know, said so Winfred. To be honest, I saw this a minute to follow up. You know. Mm -hmm. Is that important to you? It depends on what you're referring to, like. The billboard, the whole billboard thing. Mm -hmm. That more than important, man. So, so two persons cannot be called the billboard. One real and one not real. Select. One a self-proclaimed and one legit. Which brings me to your, your credentials as a producer, mm. Lynx. Um, talk about some of your pro production work. I would say like 12 consecutive it rhythm mm -hmm. um, from way as mud instrument 
Chaka Chaka Global. Artist name some artist. You work to it. Capitan, Beanie, Mavado, Vibes Cartel, Popcorn, Bungie Garlin. Mm -hmm. Crazy, crazy, crazy. The list goes on and on. Assassin, Wayne Wanda, Spraga Benz. Okay. The list goes on and on. So what's taking up most of your time these days? Well, my focus is on the, 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 the sound system part of the thing. Right now. You know, no one then me feel a vibe like mm -hmm. would I want, you know, the, the, the producing. Because since that, that the whole Kanye thing you take off, me have plans to like, you know, work on an album. Okay. Yeah, because when, when things like this happen, you can't take it for granted. You have to exploit it. Yeah, man. Agree. So where is it? Where's your, your uptown? No, Hot Monday. Hot Monday. Where's yeah. your, your Hot Monday? Yeah, glad you mentioned that. Mm. It's Where's at it Twin now? Gates Plaza. It's and this yeah. Monday, we're planning like a, 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 like a, a victory party. Yeah. For the, for yeah. the clash? Yeah, <laughs> yeah man. Like, like, you know, even for who never had a support for your links. They are rubbing the killing. Yeah, we are, we are inviting <laughs> them, you know. For forward at Twin Gates Plaza, oh my goodness. people are going to drink free all night. It's not like my rich, but... All right, Lynx, we'll just stick it right there because we're going to take a break right here. When we come back with one-on-one -on -one with Mr. Vegas and Lector, the big panel discussion on everything in dancehall, including the popcorn, Mr. Vegas and Drake, Triangle. What? <laughs> we'll be discussed right here on stage. Fun bad mind. God knows me. Me love woman. Me father him. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage. So much more than entertainment. Welcome back. Being his usual no holds barred self, Mr. Vegas this week stoked negative sentiments towards Drake's use of dancehall in his Views album. Now, a lot of people are excited about this album, and I too wanted to be excited about the album. The heads I sing Jay blasted the Canadian rapper for first, the exclusion of Popcorn's version of Controller from the album. He's my Popcorn a friend, so why am I gonna just let Popcorn just do a little eight bars? But more importantly, according to Vegas, the inclusion of samples from various dancehall artists without the appropriate credits. The Broke It Down DJ has taken to social media to air his grievances with Drake, who he thinks is a fake riding the current wave of popularity for dancehall in mainstream America. Drake the fake, he's just running with the hot genre right now. So far, Mr. Vegas has received a wave of support for his stance, but as far as Popcorn is concerned, he is pretty much asking the heads eye DJ to shut up and stay out of it. This are the truth. Well Leave the youth alone, Vegas. Wall out. Wall out on the way. Yeah, no ramp. True. How you never want to roll it? Well How you need your help? Yeah. You turn off here now! Mr. Vegas, right now, right here on our stage. Mr. Vegas, sir. Mr. Barr. Good to have you. Thank you. What is the specific problem you're having with this? this the, with Drake's album, with Drake's use of that, so. I don't have a problem with Drake's album, mm -hmm. um, first of all. Um, I think, as a matter of fact, I was on tour, and we bought the album. Yes. So we're playing the album in the, in the, in the bus. Mm -hmm. So of course, you know, I'm a, I'm a musician, yeah. an artist, so the first thing you know, an artist, take up the album, yes. you want to see the name of the song, and you want to see who is featured on the song. I was curious to listen to Controller because I know a Jamaican artist is on the record, or was on the record that was taken off. So I wanted to hear my artist, Beanie Man, replacing the verse that Beanie Man did or whatever to replace the verse that was taken off. So I'm looking at the album and I'm like, but wait, so where's Beanie Man's name? Mm. And I'm looking at another track that has samples in it as well from, mm. a, from an African artist and an artist from England. And I see they're being credited, you know, as whatever the song name is, featuring X, Y, Z. And I'm like, so what about the Jamaicans? Let me just see them name. Mm -hmm. So I do a further, like, I'm always reading and stuff like that. So I said, let me look up this artist. That's okay. the first thing that came to my mind, the artist that was sampled from England. The English artist. Right. 
And? So I looked up the artist, and of course, you know, when people see someone named, that is how you look up an artist. That is how you research an artist. That is how you know more about the artist. Mm. So I looked up the artist and read her bio and stuff like that and saw her testimony, how she's happy that Drake sampled her record and now her career has poured into mainstream again and all of these things. So I'm like, could you imagine if our local artist, local because I'm speaking here, mm. if our artists were featured as a feature on the album, what that could have done for their career? If you want to know if Beanie Man is on the album, you have to now go open up the package and look. And if you don't know M. Davis is who, you will never know that he's Beanie Man. Worst, this artist has millions of fans around the world, John. That okay. was my whole point. And the reason why I spoke out about it is because I've seen this artist doing interviews and not interviews, doing posts, video blogs and whatever. And talking about how much he loves this genre. I know how much you rate the artist then, but I'm like, you rate the artist so much, but where is the evidence? Big up the, the Gaza and, and Free World Boss and all of these things. And I remember that this artist was saying, big up the gully, maybe five, six years ago. Hmm. Where's the song with Mavado? Where's the feature with Mavado? So I'm like, yo, what if the artist had just realized that dancehall right now is the hottest thing because some people might think that dancehall need this help, hmm. to help to help us to, you know, to have success internationally. But they don't realize that dancehall is the hot genre right now. Genre but right wouldn't now. you agree that Drake contributed to, to dancehall being hot now in mainstream? And who, who, who does it benefit or who is it benefiting? Well, I, I've done more for these artists. No, but I'm asking, I've done more for these artists this but, past week yes. by, but you're speaking saying, you're up, by letting people know that they're on the album than what the album itself or what the artist itself has done for the artist. Okay, I hear you. But we're going to be having a discussion in a panel. We don't want to preempt the, the, the panel because much of what you're just talking right. about right. will be discussed in the panel. Right. Give me a quick career update. What have you been up to? I'm just working. Just came back from Europe. We just, um, you know, I sent a video to you with Identify My Love. Um, you know, we are going to read it with that. The song My Jam with Pitbull is in rotation in like a few stations in America right now. I think maybe because I spoke out, people now saying, you know what, let's listen to him. So maybe it's working. <laughs> <laughs> I got like, you know, someone just sent me a message. Oh, they're adding your song with Pitbull um, to this big station. And, you know, I, I can show you the message. You know what, sometimes you have to talk up for your rights. Everybody sit down and so quiet and worry about, oh. Yes, we understand the passion. But can we go to your video, sir? Can we go to your video right Please. now? Let's go to your video right here. Can you identify my love? Oh, 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 oh. Can you identify my love? Wow, love story by Mr. Vegas, Vegas. But so you're, you're at it, you say? What, what's the station? Um, um, this one is Y100 um, with My Jam with Pitbull. Yes. Um, this song is playing at, actually in Hartford and you know, a few other stations, Albany. So we're just going to read So this them. is just real, is now starting to get some love, right? Right, this, right. This, this particular track. This on My Jam featuring Pitbull. Um, yes. the, the, the tropical host. So mix. this will so get, to, this will get added too? We're working on that. We, we, we are getting, we're in the mix show right now um, in Hartford, Albany, um, Boston, you know, played it a few times last week. If someone else sing this song, you know, maybe if another pop artist sing a song like this, people will be like, yo, you hear the new such and such and such, it wicked -y. But when a Jamaican sing it, you know, yeah, man, a nice vibe, man. I like the Vegas, that sound good. Yeah, man, I like it. Yeah, man, I then you go to radio and again, you, you get problem in your own country feet play, and then you go to radio internationally, and then you say, oh, we don't play reggae. You feel like you want to turn Christian. <laughs> Maybe that will work. Anyway, baby. Um, but good that Rush and Fire Links there, and them see a plate, so you don't know them. Uh, them know it now. They know the truth. Yes, Fire Links there and Rush there. Yes, sir. Why Rush? And yes, speaking sir. of both, they be joining us shortly after the break, sir, for a lengthy discussion on all these topics. Now, Rush, why Rush is a big supporter, as you know, of Poppy and of Drake. And he'll be here. Um, Filings is here. I don't know what, what, what side of the issue he'll be on. They're both producers, and they'll be joining us for a, a discussion on, on those stuff and this topic and more. Right here on stage when we come back. Can you identify my love? Can you identify my love? Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage. So much more than entertainment.
Welcome back as we have been reporting here on stage since the start of the year. Dancehall has been enjoying a very strong presence in the international mainstream. But whereas dancehall is a fully blown Jamaican genre, the artists fronting aren't necessarily Jamaicans. For with the exception of people like Sean Paul and Shaggy, everyone else is pretty much non-Jamaican. Like Rihanna, Beyonce, Justin Bieber and Drake, this incursion of dancehall in mainstream has generated a number of controversies. The latest being Drake's dancehall-laced Views album, where a single featuring Popcorn was excluded from the final cut. Joining us to discuss, ZJ Rush, Firelix, and Mr. Vegas, right now, right here on our stage. All right, all right, welcome, welcome, Rush. Good to have you back, sir. Always ready to be back. And gentlemen, <laughs> good to have you back in this segment. Yes, sir. All right, so we, we want to start with you, Fire. Yes, sir. Your position on this issue. In terms of the album being leaving off Popcorn Controller mm -hmm. and including Beanie Man and Mr. Vegas believing that dancehall is being exploited by people like Drake and so on. The leave off part, you know, I guess the individuals have to work out the issue where that is concerned. Mm -hmm. But, you know, just by Jake, you know, involving a dancehall artist, whether it's popcorn or beanie man, that is a plus. Yes. You understand? So respect for that. But on the other hand, where Vegas are try highlights a boy, you know, we know um, most of the artists them not really get the, the proper the, credit. Yeah, the proper credit and the justice of them due. Hmm. Where, where that is concerned, I definitely have to agree with Vegas. You so you are cutting it in the middle. You're, you're on both sides. Of, you can understand <laughs> both sides of the argument. Yeah, yeah definitely. Why rush? You, you are a big supporter of Drake. And you also support, right here on stage, you declare <laughs> that you support um, the, the, the sampling of Jamaica's music. You don't have a problem with it. You're also a big supporter of pop, Poppy, Popcorn. Where are you on this issue? I mean, first of all, you know, Jamaica, I have a problem with Jamaican culture in that a lot of the times I feel like we sit back and make everything happen and we don't really speak up. Yes. We see that very evident in politics. So it's, it's a hypocrisy in a Jamaica. So when yes. I see Vegas yes. take a stance on something, I like that. Okay. Because we have to stand up regardless. Okay. Whether I agree with Vegas or not, no, I disagree. Hmm. Because in this situation, Again, I agree with like, with like Fire Links in terms of the number one selling albums for the last year on Ad Adele, mm -hmm. Justin Bieber, Ed Sheeran, mm -hmm. Beyonce's Lemonade. And I know them not even say ja, much less Jamaica. You understand? So, I mean, when you, when you look at what Drake is doing, it's like you drive down the, down the road and a man get $100 every day and today him now the money and you cuss him. Mm -hmm because uh, y'all say I'm not doing nothing for you. Mm. I think Drake is doing more than anybody else's. When I was in New York last week, on a good, good Saturday night, and I'm listening to Hot 97, which goes all across, I'm at New York, Jersey, Connecticut, trickle all over. You can argue that Hot 97 is top three in radio stations in the world. Mm -hmm. I'm here, Funk Master Flex, who's a pioneer from Hot 97, from the 80s, I play popcorn version of the Drake controller. And in my week or not, when I'm there in New York and when I'm there all about, I'm hearing the popcorn version. Mm -hmm. Popcorn is a man where visa issues here and there because of his affiliation, etc., etc. So when they have the opportunity to go on a number one station like Hot 97 and Funk Flex, who is the man for that station, they play the popcorn version. Me not see the negative. Okay, so, but Vegas is talking about credits. All right. Okay. Make we get to the proper credit. credit. We can get feature, to the we can get to the feature <laughs> credit. He calls it. There are about five songs on Drake's album, The Views, mm -hmm. that were that had features, mm -hmm. credited features. Now, if we skip one dance for the moment, every other feature was actually an artist singing a song. Rihanna sang a verse. Mm -hmm. um, Party Next Door sang a verse. Everybody sang a verse. Now, in terms of one dance, the entire one dance song is pretty much Kyla's song. Do you mind? Mm -hmm. Slow down. It's not like say him, him take a piece of our song and mm -hmm. so to not give her I credit to it is being ridiculous. It would have been like somebody take I am um, so um, Vegas song bless. Take the entire song, speed it up a little bit, do one line in it, 
and, and don't credit so her. So it was a bigger sampling, a bigger... It wasn't a sample. It was literally her song. Her song that... So, uh, so it's not a good comparison. You're saying no, Vegas? And, and How do you respond to that? Kyla doing an interview. Mm. And basically, Drake sampling my song changed my life. Basically. All right? So it's a clear sample. Now, if we're going to talk about sizes of whatever was, what was sampled mm -hmm. and major sizes, being a man tear off my garment is, a clear, is as clear cut as you can ever get a sample. So if we measure Kyla's one dance or whatever, her song was that was sampled and measure being a man song, we could have an argument that goes on forever and ever. We're just saying basically, Kyla's and Whiskey mm -hmm. from Africa. They were sampled in the same song that Rush is talking about, mm -hmm. right? So it's not like it's just Kyla alone that were credited as a feature. So if you're going to say, oh, Kyla is Kyla song them took and sampled it. So what about Whiskey? So mm -hmm. I'm not trying to be petty here or trying to just go after one individual or anything like that. I'm saying I've seen it time and time again. Over and over, where a dancehall artist plays a role mm -hmm. on a song. And when you look at the, you pick up the CD or you go on iTunes, the artist from Jamaica, name is not mm. on the credit. The artist you speak about, song is playing on 97 and all of these things. Is it released as a single? Is it a leaked version that is playing? Mm. I had song playing with Beyonce, standing on the sun on 97, all the stations that you're talking about, Rush. But it was yeah, not a song that was released. There's many ways I can respond to that still saying, but at the end of the day, I think we as Jamaicans need to be realistic and don't be hypocritical. Mm. Because we are the biggest takers of other people's culture and using it. Now, the whole music from 2008 forward, <coughs> excuse me, was hip hop music. Mm. The whole of the kick them to this day when I listen to the brand new music, then when we get in on my email every day, the 200 email them a day, 98% of it sounds like hip hop. So hip -hop we were, so we we were also, dance hours sampling hip hop. We are still using hip hop. Heavily, and I'm not getting the and phone still, calls. And still doing. I am not seeing the USA. I'm, I'm, Hold on, let me finish. I'm not seeing the USA on stage with them now. For them version, I say, yo, the Jamaican them. Skip back now. Well, let's go back to the, the Daggerin segment in Jamaica. Mm. That whole segment. The majority of that came from a fusion of Jamaican music, African music, and Trinidad and Soka. If you listen to the original Charlie Black's them, mm. that was basically Soka um, teaser with Jamaican lyrics. I never got the call from Trinidad with the complaints. If you dial back to the root, because everybody loves the Jamaica, we are the root, you know. Um, cool Herc took our music to, to New York and created hip-hop music, that's fine. But in, in, in the, in the mid-80s when the, the root of one of the most influential dancehall songs, dancehall rhythms, slang thing, came from a Japanese woman on a Casio keyboard, note for note. I never got the call from Japan I complain about that. In fact, the very root of Jamaican music, if you take your history, ska music come from American R&B. Do the history. So why weren't they complaining about us? In other words, music is always being shared. If we're going to talk about Jamaican um, in, in, imitating hip-hop and no one is complaining, as you said, Cool Herc is the one who introduced that genre to the world. Right. Cool Herc is the one who, from, as a Jamaican, saw how we string up sound system. So how we put on music and man DJ after and went to the Bronx with it. Yes. So we, 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 are, we so, so to say we are hypocritical. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let me finish. Let me finish. To say we are hypocritical, because the youth them know who like yourself that don't grow up on original dance or that original me. reggae music. Then me. because you are saying you don't hear the complaint when we are doing hip hop. So you think that all these artists from back in the days, it's okay to say you know what. You can do whatever you want to do with the Jamaican artist because we sing over people's song and we this and we that and we are. First of all, whenever we copy something from America, most of the time we don't get it cleared for it to be released properly. A clear indication and a clear um, example of that is Vibes Cartel, mm. Ramping Shop, mm. that Neo act as if he's one of us also, I know him like we. When that song entered the billboard, they said no. We're not clear it. We can go back to Steely and Cleavy, build them bow, mm. and the reggaeton people them took it, 
And Daddy Yankee and all those artists sell millions of records and yes, nobody but, speak but about Steve that clearly. the name reggae ton is used. You know what the word ton means? Ton means the great reggae. That's what it means in reggae ton. They've taken... You cannot take a... Are record. they, first giving, all, are first they all, giving credit to okay, Steve and so Cleveland? Like answer so that, like answer so that. So when, Daddy, so when Daddy Yankee go up on stage and he's doing song, the first thing he's doing is say, Oh, I'm going to sing to the girl in my first song. No, 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 no. First of all, a jump pattern yeah, yeah, cannot yeah, be... Hold on, a jump pattern cannot be legally copyrighted. Right? The, the drum pattern that they use from Tingaling, do you know that the bogle is authentic dancehall music? It's a different kick pattern than Tingaling. So what I try to say is the, they took a thing off of it and they used it. So what? They gave oh, it so this what? reggae so what? So they what? took so what? Like no, I'm, no, no, the reason, why, the reason why I'm saying this to you. I used it. All right, gentlemen, take it, it easy. Is I, I want to hear from, from Firelix. Firelix, do you think we're getting Jamaica's Jamaican dancehall artists and reggae artists too are getting the appropriate credit for their, the sampling, the widespread sampling of their music by, by others. Just the exposure mm. is a plus, you know, but as, we, as, as I was saying before, you know, we need the proper credit, you know. Artists need the proper thing. So first thing first, they need to get them thing in place. Yeah, what is more time. important to you, Fire? Is it the, the credit that you get, or, 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 or is it that you prefer to, to be in the, in the mainstream yourself, carrying your own music? Uh, Would you, are you satisfied with just being credited? Credited or, or? is very important. Your credit is very important. Yes. Yeah, out in the mainstream and all of that, yeah, the exposure and all of that, your name I call it good, but pre the long run, mm. in long term, should say. You understand, like, a couple of years after, them royalty checks there and all of them something there, when that, that, that no hype are gone, mm -hmm. and that you have to rock back. I mean, I'm, I'm, we're not saying they're stealing Drake stole anything or anything like that, you know, because you have to make it clear that we're not putting that message out there to say, you know what, Drake robbed anyone, or did not credit anyone, or, or, or artists are not going to get royalty, because we don't know the business side of it. What I am speaking about is what is clear to me that the artists, they were not even recognized for the contribution that others had the same contribution well, and were recognized. Well, well, since we don't know the, um, what arrangements are behind there, I think we, we may have to leave but it you're right still not my friend. Right, but the you, thing is, I hear what I'm No, but we could beat it to death. But, but you're still not my friend if you're going to say, oh, you're not going to get credit. No, but, but you give what? somebody here, credit. Here's the thing. No, <laughs> but I'm saying, Vega, sometimes there's a thing called work for hire, where people are paid out where copyrights or intellectual properties bought out by... Of course, by, by, we understand by, that. By, and, a, a and there are things called some people licky licky to understand anything come them with. Yeah, well, we understand that too. Them, but what I'm, saying is, what I'm saying is we don't really know the, the facts about why they are not credited. And there could be a... a, a that a, is the a, reason why... There could be an explanation. Of course, but it. that is the reason why we're speaking on right. what is visible. Yes. All right. No, but, but what is visible but you, what is visible may not necessarily be illegal or We're not saying or, that. If the owners popcorn same no one nobody defend him. <laughs> I don't hear from Bean yet. Who, is, who else is on the album? Serrani, right? No, well, Serrani is on the album. It, what, what, what is Serrani in the news? Was jubilant like it's tomorrow, yeah, it's, it's Christmas time, yeah, it's 50. So he has album. no problem. No, Serrani so what I'm saying is if if well, if every artist that is actually on the album from what I have, I haven't spoken to be the man yet, mm -hmm. but from everybody else that I've either heard an interview of or spoken to directly, has absolutely no issue with it. Then obviously them good with whatever arrangement was worked out. Here's my thing now. Drake, it's not like say Drake, tech, it's not like say theme artist career was built off of dancehall. The man built theme own things separate and apart. Yes. I honestly feel that if this album had the, didn't have the, the, the Beanie Man sample on it, didn't have the Serrani on it, didn't have the popcorn little thing in it, saying, the album would have done just as well. And, Drake, and, and, hold on. Drake, who benefited? How has Drake capitalized on this big dance artist? Hold, 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 hold on, Let me finish, let me finish. The basis of this is this. We need to get down to the issue. The real issue that I think is relevant, that yes. the business needs to focus on is, why was it that if he did take off a popcorn, for whatever reason, why is it that he went for Beanie Man as the artist, and why was it that song that they went to pick? Vegas, respond. What I'm saying is, as Rush was saying, it would not have changed the outcome of the success of the album 
if he did not use a beanie, Sirani or anyone else. Mm -hmm. While that may be true, we cannot just say, you know what, Drake never have to do no dance hall and him album with us still good. Yes. Because we, Fair point. it is very, very clear right now, say dance hall mm -hmm. is the hottest thing right yeah. now. But then a Jamaican artist make it hot. That is and the point. Make them make them take, they make it hot. All right, all right, I made the piece. 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 of the genre, the creators of the genre. Who created And Jamaicans are being sampled. You, you, you're the problem. And, and, and an album, and the thing is hot in mainstream. The, Jama the creators of same must be credited. Yeah, you can't I'm, walk I'm, 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 the, pop music. That's no, the problem from not with Rush, you know. That, that, it's like every time I see Rush speak, it's like you speak down and dance on music. And I'm, and I'm going to be honest here. It's like every time I see you speak, you speak down on dance on music and you talk about all the bad things yeah, about dance on no, music. Yeah, and you speak on. about, oh, people are doing, we are doing hip-hop and we're following them when you don't even know that Cool Hurts and those people are the ones who introduced hip-hop to the world. Did I just say that? But you said that in, in your statement, but yet still you're going to blame the, uh, say the youth them, uh, 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 you don't hear yeah, nobody yeah. complain when we do hip-hop, right? But what I'm saying is that is not even the case here. You're mentioning three artists that were featured. We're yeah, not even talking artists, about right? that. Who are happy about it. Listen, we're not talking about three individual artists here and whether they're happy with whatever they got or whatever it is. That is not the case here. Mm -hmm. We are saying Justin Bieber, who we did not hear from a long time, mm. went to Major Lazer and Skrillex or whatever their name is. What did they do? They produced a dancehall track. Sorry. Went number one on the Billboard chart. How we know it was Justin Bieber came back with a, with a dance tune or another type of music? We would have been talking about Justin Bieber now. So we can't just, dis just undermine our influence on the world and go on like say, if dance on, <laughs> yo, yo, they never have to do dance on. Well, I want to tell you, man. Like 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 dance on music. Dance on music. And the reason why they're doing this because it has to. Let me just tell you. Justin Bieber never called and dance on Bill Buck, Justin Bieber career. Let's hear from Felix. Felix, do you agree with Rush that Drake's album would be a successful? If he had not included on it, that's all. Well, at the end of the day, Jake or Jake, he mm. do it already. So the, the sales, I don't think, no doubt what are in terms of the sales going up or how much he would have sell. Yes. Because Jake or Jake. But uh, to me, my honest belief is the, the whole dance all thing, yeah, it gave him thing a favor. Like, it, 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 it gave him album a blend. Yes, but you understand, but, but, and if it never relevant, yeah. you're not thinking about that God of Road. So you say again, again, <laughs> Felix, you say two things. <laughs> okay, you know, again, but, you're cutting it down. But, 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 but Rush, Rush, you have to give some credit to the edge and the freshness that the dancehall would bring yeah, to the. Yeah, album. yeah, and but my point is that rather than saying, okay, five big hip hop artists, five big um, international artists right now are out there. One of them do take up one thing. Me, as I said, Hot 97, me hear popcorn version. I play who mm. an American visa. Him sang a play America mm. right now. Rather than pinpointing one man to say you and for do more for me. Make we look. Make we talk on a broader scheme of the thing. Then that is an issue I have weird with 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 Rush. Him yeah. don't need to do it. Drake, how long now? Drake boss and never get a Billboard number one. It's that song, that song, you know. One dance and really we mix up with the little dance and flavor, with the, with the Afrobeat flavor. Give him a number one. Mm. So we can't just say, because every artist would like to be a number, have a number one song on Billboard. Jake has never had a number one song yet. Oh, we know it's a control and I got a number one too. Okay, good. All right, all right, Vegas. Hold on, man. Good point. Let's go. So hard, man. So we are going too far from the argument here. Oh, no, we continue. So we can't discredit dance hall. We're running out of time. Dance hall. I love the discussion, but we're running out of time, and we want to discuss that. Solutions, because here it is that we have been this big discussion. That's what I was getting to. And using up a whole lot of energy talking about artists pulling us through into mainstream. What about us? Why is it that we're not hearing Popcorn straight up himself, yourself, Vegas, being a man up in this time when dancehall is enjoying so much attention and the flavor that people are looking for, that said flavor that is being delivered by these global giants, these Beyonce and Rihanna and Drake, why aren't we delivering? 
Why are we not Jamaican dancehall artists delivering the same flavor in mainstream that they are delivering on our behalf? Well, Why do we need their brand to, to put the music to the people? Brush? All right, well, in terms of solutions now, if we move away from the previous arguments, yes. I think we need to pay very close attention to the success that these other people are having with Jamaican flavored music and start realizing that, all right, as I said, my problem with the music nowadays is that it has sounded, it has changed the root of what original 90s dance hour was. Mm -hmm. The sound sound different. Mm -hmm. If the music that was playing today as Jamaican quote unquote music was playing instead in the 90s, I don't feel the culture would have been built to where it is now. Mm -hmm. when, when Drake decides to use a Beanie Man, he didn't use a current Beanie Man. He used a 90s Beanie Man. Mm -hmm. When Justin Bieber them style their music, Tropical House, off of influences of Jamaica, when Rihanna does her work, 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 she doesn't style it off of the nowadays dancer. She styles it off of 90s dancer. So it's the 90s that so people I want. Think it's the, the 90s Yeah, flavor. so what I think is the, 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 the thing to take away from all of this mm -hmm. is that we had a successful, growing, flourishing tree. In the and 90s. And fling it away and pick up something else, and it has failed. And they're showing us... Something that, else that was that less ours. That, something else was less ours, and they are showing us, to me, that the original... 90s flavored dance hall, including going back a little bit in the Inclu 80s. Including Heads Eye. <laughs> heads Eye, including all of these really? successful songs, is the root. And yeah. we need to pay attention because they might take what we fling one, they might make rich offer. Vegas, is that where our energies should be directed right now? We can always be hypocritical hmm. and, and, and say, you know what, we should stick to that, what we were doing. A lot of the selectors when you build a dance hall rhythm with that flavor, they're not going to play that. Are those the only reasons? But one second, that's, wait, quickly. that's an important reason, Rush, that we have moved away from what people like about our music. What was working? I want, to, I want, I'm still trying to explore right now. Why is it that we are not seeing more superstars in the mainstream? Is it music? Is it creativity? Is it the the, 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 the nineties sound as opposed to now, or is it something else? Wait for. Let me tell you something. Let 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 let, let me clear up something quickly. Where a lot of a lot of people are afraid to say this because everybody have them own reason why they not talk and speak the truth. The music change from how it used to groove to accommodate Vibes Cartel style. Vibes Cartel became successful with that groove and that sound and all of the youth that start bust now, they might try to use that sound or sound that way. You understand what I say? So are um, we doomed, Vegas? It's, it's no, we're not doomed. There's, we're no not doomed you know. there's no future Vegas. for no, dance all doomed. artists Vegas. because you're, you, you, are you saying that there is this, um, this conspiracy, this, this organized group of no, no, individuals no, 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 we're not doomed. You? We're not doomed, but until we are honest with ourselves and amongst ourselves and know what, you know what? We have to know this, the hit song them. Your office talk the balance, can I hear what? Mm. Pre no game. A short time that not much never, not much not changed. And it's it. One and two look or so on, and it's still it. So and if you're going to say, that, that 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 Jamaica is, is, but that is, is a point. producer from Jamaica, mm. so he's in and the people are running with it. So all you right, can't exactly. can yeah, say, but so it's, it's, if it's, it's a foreigner, pick it up. I'm still, all right, can I throw a few things in here? Because I think we're wasting a lot of time yeah, talking yeah. about creativity and music right. and, and so uh, on. And uh, production. Uh, production, I believe, and, and I don't think Jamaica is lacking in creativity and edge and newness and freshness. This is one of the most dynamic space in the world. The only country that can come compete with Jamaica is the US. Mm -hmm. The said United States. There is no other country on the planet who can compete with you in pop music. Just yeah. like oh, you see in Bolt run faster than everybody else in our world. Jamaica only has one comp competitor in music, in popular music right. that impress the world. Now, I am asking you this. If that is true, and we are able to put out the more record per capita than anywhere else on the planet, why is it that we can't get into mainstream? Are we looking at issues like manageability? No. You have, you have a thing visa, to what extent visa <coughs> issues and, and records that people have, police records and so on, are impeding people from going? Because music is not just Drake and Rihanna and who we see on the front line. Hold on, hold on, Link, I want to say this. Mm -hmm. Music is not just who we know. There are invisible people running this. Invisible to most of us. And we don't even rate them and respect them. We're running it. And they know everything and they are the investors in music. They are the ones who decide the budget. The marketing team, when they're going to decide who they're going to put their money on, 
They're going to check visa. They're going to check attitude. They're going to check how manageable is this guy. Now, aren't those bigger reasons why we are not hearing more you guys in mainstream, in the, in the international mainstream, than your creative, uh, what sound you're using? I only say that. Big in Vegi mentioned it earlier. Mm -hmm. Our music is like, it has so many barriers <clears throat> for cross. Yes. We jump over because the, 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 we're not just getting all of the just so. Right, so what I is behind those barriers? That's the question, you know. Well, are people, I know, I, are people, I Winford, are Winford, people Winford, Winford. making a decision? Well, they say, boy, I'm going to fight against but, Jamaica but just so. what's the best? All right, well, we'll look on it this way. What is behind well, those well, barriers? When, when, well, when, 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 let's, let's say you see in bold. Yes. Break, like, uh, well, as a upper power first, as, yes. a Jama as a Jamaican athlete, show that we can train in Jamaica and we can work, break a world record and dominate track and field. Yes. So what was he he showed an example of what work can be achieved. What can be achieved. So what it is, what's bothering me is that if you look at every single song that has actually broken into the mainstream, whether it's Sean Paul with his um, Get Busy and, mm -hmm. and Gimme a Light, whether it's Egyptian Hold You, mm -hmm. whether it's surrounding No Games, whether it's Roman Red Bull where, where do its thing, mm -hmm. they all everyone falls in love. They all have an exact, very similar tempo at 100 BPM. Okay. They have a similar sound. They have a similar legible English chorus. So what I'm saying is, why aren't we following the examples so, okay. that have worked? So, accepted. We have said that these take... worked, and then everybody said, all right, them they work. I, I think a song nobody's, nobody's, nobody's going to yes. argue with you. You had that rush. Hold on. Right. Nobody's going to argue with you on that, that that sound is definitely a formula. Right. Okay, that, but that, that's just one of a list of reasons why we're not Ascending. Uh, Mickey, well, we're 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 can't get the chance. That one is just one. Go, one twenty go mainstream or one I, I, go I, mainstream I, I, as Yeah, well. because most of the records you just you just um, you just mentioned, the artists only get one, Winford. and then disappear. Winford, let me let me. So if it was a work, if it, it and there are tons of records being made all the while that sound like that, and they don't make it. One second. I think there's a bigger reason. One second. Don't that we are not really addressing. Let me clear this up quickly because I don't think Rush. Understand when you're going to radio or when you're putting on somebody to promote a dance hall record, mm. the obstacles and all kind of things you have to go through and overcome, as the fire link say. A lot of things going against yeah, you. Man. Number one, you book on some radio station outside because the record broke it down, hot talk, head zive, everyone fall in love sometimes, Zim Zimmer, all those records. Big records in Miami, New York, Hartford, as I told you earlier on. Right? When you go to other radio stations, in the states or other territories, they tell them don't play dance and they don't play reggae music. It's not, it's not fitting in their format. Yes. You understand? So that is a big issue that we have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Among mm -hmm. other mm -hmm. things. Yes. Because people sometimes, you know, generalize the whole dance our community as oh, there are some people, they are very homophobic, they are That's this the and they are that and all of these things. Though? Hold on one second, hold on one second, hold on one second, brother. Hold on one second. <clears throat> so the bigger issue we have, we don't have the resources. That a Drake or a Beyonce or those artists have. Them can't sing a record where we have loved. The record is not so good. It comes down to branding. It, what is your brand? We they don't are have playing brands. They are, hold on. They are playing brands, Bedrick. Right. They are not just playing exactly. a record. Exactly. They are playing Bieber. Bieber is because a, a fabulous. Bieber. Bieber brings that DJ credibility. Exactly. Even if Rush is an idiot song. As a DJ, Rush, and he plays Vibes Cartel, his vibes are playing. I say, for foolishness, don't blame me. Got the big man may play. Mm -hmm. It's easier to play the brand than to play a new artist and people burn it out and say it's not good. So I am saying, Bedrick, where are the Jamaican dance or brands? We do Where not, are we they? Do not. How do you build a brand? What is a brand in music? Is it just the right sound? It's a combination what of about it's consistency, the attitude? Image. What about the discipline? What about the understanding yeah, exactly. of how the music business works? How, how about understanding media? And how media decide to play. Like, like I said, exactly. they're playing artists. They're not playing records. Exactly. Okay. And do we even know that? That if you are a brand, then you're Mr. If, if Mr. Why are they playing Beanie Man over, over Popcorn? Exactly. Maybe they pull Beanie because Beanie is a bigger brand in the mainstream American. Maybe. Than Popcorn right now. Beanie has a bigger brand. Maybe why they decide to go with him over Popcorn. And they, if, if they're doing something special for that sort, you might hear them say, bring in Shabba Ranks. The right. call some name that you Bojo. in Jamaica burn out. And I say, oh, who them under the call? They're calling 
brands. They're calling people with name ID. This is how media works. And this is how I believe marketing, anything, what? Brand. In Winford, this Winford. global space of all kinds of mix-up, you have to distinguish yourself by but what does it take? And a brand that is identified. What, what, what does it take? What does it take to push your brand? What does it take to bring your brand to the forefront? But we but, can always have brand. We can always say, okay. you know what is branding, but, and we don't but, have proper this and we don't have proper that. You're beating on one thing, Vegi. You're beating on one thing. But that's what it boils People down to. People who are blocking you. Hold on. Nobody knows what you get from you see and bolt. You see and bolt bust down gate and gate up a walk and come on. Why? Exactly. They will Why? come fast. Why? And the people want to see him. And I'm saying, Bertrand, Good. there comes a the time you dare any guy to stop you from achieving whatever you want to achieve. I am saying right now, Bertrand, if you become the brand, and when one of you get, get through, you pull through the others. Because for you to stay there, <laughs> you course. need to, 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 to dominate the taste. You need to continue to feed the people with that particular but taste. And it's still, it's you still, more people it's still need exactly. a machine to push the brand. If you can't have the nicest drinks to sell. Yes. But if you don't have the people and the distributors to distribute it to the people who want to drink that juice, you're not going to get one sell. Well, guess what? Uh, so guess what? When Bieber was running by Usher, looking for a boss in music, okay, it was Usher who was, whose brand was pulling him through. And put him but where? Then came a time when Bieber used the opportunity to make himself into a brand. So much so that he doesn't need Usher anymore. And I'm saying, my youth, that yes, you need organization, you need that push. But there comes a time when nobody can stop you as a brand. They have to pull you through. There are times when you have to play a record because you cannot play the record because the whole world will hear it because it's so bad. Well, all right. You know, Barry said one time, <laughs> he have a tune and people tune. Well, that uh, dominate the argument. That I don't know. That's the question I'm about. <laughs> Listen, me and Barry said one time, say, so I think, you know, I'm catalog all the while called the people tune. And anytime I'm drop it, him not be a PO of a plate. A guy have to play it because I dare him to not play this record. And that's what. But I'm do saying. they have to play it in do mainstream? Do we think like that? Do they have to play that same record? Put your music in front of those doors for you and let it pull you through. All right. And I am saying you must be ready though for what it takes to go to the next level. And what it takes to go to the next level is to, under, is to have the discipline. Is to understand where you're going, to understand how the thing works, of to understand there's a lot of people of putting money on you, venue owners, tour companies, um, record companies, media are putting money on you. And that is what is not the dancehall industry is not getting. We don't have the budget of foreign artists, but we have done it before. We have broken through the mainstream and it has to build organically as a radio man mm. and a producer and a dancehall selector. I have a broad spectrum, mm -hmm. and it's like the barest thing where you say. There are certain songs, it's not the pure thing. I have mm -hmm. a, the majority of my money and every single Radio G's DJ's money comes from being a DJ that get booked. Fire links, true, true. we get booked. No matter <clears throat> if a man come money pull up, mm -hmm. you have to get a man have a, 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 a vibe off of your, or your play. Mm -hmm. A man have to listen rush on the radio as a 15 man for my radio station alone play. Mm -hmm. A man have to say rush play good me I go book him for your event or me staff. Mm -hmm. So you have some song that no matter what if me not play it for my radio show and people listen my show mm -hmm. and I'm not here if you go to fire links mm -hmm. at Mondays and you don't hear it. You now go back, you mm -hmm. go to our next place mm -hmm. and you go turn the radio station. Them song that are what you need for mech. Stop focus on the little fringe song them are when a man did pay one little man on the side. If you have a song that is that good, I have to play it for my own Rush, career and my, own music. and my own benefit. Good music are being made and it fly over people's heads. Very few. Yes. You understand? Good music are very few being compared to what is produced it? in Jamaica. How many but songs? you rush might not know them. As a man, you, but I'm a DJ. Because you're not a DJ, you're an artist. So you're Gypsan, music. Every, on. Gypsan oh. song, Gypsan song, mm. hold you. Yeah. Wait, boss. It was a foreign. We broke it down, boss. But the point That's not a good song. Hold on, hold on. Check this out. You want them songs the same, in the playlist? The same, the same song. Hold on, hold on. The same Egyptian rhythm, Hold You, has been redone finally <laughs> by <laughs> Birch and isn't the conscience and the Charlie Blacks doing extremely well? You're not answering the white question. Tech, We're making white good tech, music. You just not find them. Why take years? Hold on. You're an artist. You're a producer. You're not finding them. My, uh, my because I just gave it two songs. I just gave it two Canada, songs Canada, that were big Canada, international Canada, before them bust of Jamaica. Hold on, hold on, and you hold get hold them in your inbox. So don't tell me good music now, make. Good music I make. Can I talk now? You done? 
Good music and make me. You finish? Me. Tell me you finish. Make you go and make you want to my power dancer. My inbox as a real DJ. What you get? You get ready me in your inbox. I get sang in my inbox. You understand? Me is a man. I sit down and I get 100 and odd song per hour in my inbox. In my radio station, you have a box filings. How much people come here song when you're when you there on the road? How much CD you have? Loads. We get tons. The whole of my box is a care full of CD. If I listen to the whole of them CD, I never sleep. I mm -hmm. never eat. And when I listen to 99% of them song there, when you listen to them, don't sound like girl more for all you. They don't sound like everybody falls in love. They eat song them. You have to listen to a million to find one with sound like and, verse. And, and, and yes, so I when do you're agree talking with you. about, and yes, I when do you're agree talking with about you. the songs being there, how many of them yes. are there? How many of them are done by caliber artists who have the brand? Hold on, hold on, hold on. How many are mixed properly, <laughs> produced properly? The point is that you have to understand how the business works, my friend, and exploit it just like everybody else. Drake and them have their own stories. Drake from Canada has his own story of struggle to get his music out. We do understand that, but you have to understand also, everyone, yes, people struggle, but when people... Yes from other territories or other genre. Mm -hmm. Get that break. Now they get the machine and they get the budget and they get the record label behind it. We don't have that. So we can't excel. That's why you can say, but we all, oh, Contemetra get one or two songs, and Vegas get one or two songs, and Beanie Man get one or two songs. So what, you're telling me Sean that- Sean Paul? We, Sean Paul had Atlantic behind him. Okay, why, how? Why, how, how we get Sean that? Paul had Atlantic. Shaggy. Sean Paul had Atlantic, Shaggy had majors. Omi. Shaggy, Omi. Shaggy, Omi. Shaggy, Omi. Shaggy had majors behind him. Omi, Omi had a, did not have a major when he Omi, did the first version Omi, of Omi, Omi, Omi song was made possible because he was now signed to Ultra. How, but but, but Shaggy was right? released And when Ultra Machine Ultra kicked in, yeah. when Ultra Machine kicked in, it was a different story. The song started making some noise Do you know and they picked Shaggy it up. was number one before, so before he was signed? No. Cheerleader was number one in Hawaii. It was number one in Dubai. It mm -hmm. was number three in many European countries all over the world. Cheerleader was doing well. So was Standing on All Threes by Omi. I was there from the inception of him career. And guess what? When you make the noise and you do the proper music and you market your brand yeah, properly, but, 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 that is when the big money and the but brand that, comes the, but in. But what you're saying about Cheerleader is not even correct because I knew, I knew when Cheerleader was remixed. Is a remix started playing in, no, in, in Australia. No, I'm talking the original Cheerleader was number anyway, one. Anyway, gentlemen, we're one. running out of tapes and everything right now. <laughs> and we want to post this. I want to post all of this online. I want to thank you. I love this. This is spirited. This is a very spirited discussion, and we're going to do more of this, especially with you two. You <laughs> are among us. I love it. No, I love the Vegas <laughs> and, the, and the, rush, the, rush, the rush argument. You guys are, are, are loading it, right? Well, it's, it's, like it. it's, it's like the mediator. Anyway, rush. Why rush? Why rush? That's why you rush. You know, I love it. Yeah, man. Man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Man. Yes, All the best, gentlemen, for coming and, and sharing with us. We're going to post this for everybody to see it, all of it. And we want to thank you again for joining us right here on stage and hope you'll come back soon for us to continue this discussion about where our music is headed and what are some of the hurdles being faced by it right now and to what extent we're exploiting the opportunities that the world is presenting to us right now as Jamaicans. With that said, Winford Williams, on behalf of all of us, thanking you for joining us. Do join us again next week for more on stage. Boom. Can you identify my love? Oh, 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 oh. Can you identify my love? Girl, I give you all that I am, keep you safe and secure. And you never find another man who will love you more. Oh, oh, oh. Hi, thanks for watching our video. Hope you have enjoyed it. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking right here. 
and enjoy so much more where that came from. All over, man. Enough places where, where just the reaction of the people alone just make you know, say, you feel the power in the music. Okay. 